Hi everyone, I'm Max from the Max team and I am with Mitty. How are you, Mitty? Yo, yo, yo! I'm good, Max. It's good to be on the Max Team TV with you tonight. Yes, yes, for this Max Open Cup 9 on the round 3, we will have Sickles versus Jack Attack, uh, the Italian player versus the, the American girl from uh, the American girl from uh, Netherlands, because she lives there. And she was top 8 in the Max Land 4. Uh, which occurred in the last uh, October, at the end of October. And then we'll have Very the nice. Spanish Bruto versus a guy you may know from, not from Germany, but from Luxembourg. It's Wire. My fave. <laughs> Is here. And uh, we have to uh, check the lineups. And we're starting with other uh, um, sickles ones. Okay, he's bringing a priest, a druid, a rogue, and a warlock. But his warlock has been banned. Oh no, we love warlock. I like that this class, not as much choice. as priest, but yeah, interesting as I said. Okay, we we keep the priest, so we will see priest maybe. Hmm. It's a good it's... lineup. I like this lineup from uh, Sickos. I think okay. uh, if I was going to bring a lineup, it would probably be these four decks to a tournament. These okay. are just the best four decks right now, I think. Okay, I like it. Yeah, we, we saw um, the Rogue two, two weeks ago uh, winning everything, and then uh, it was mm. uh, uh, the previous week, the, the Ping Mage, the, the small one, the 30 cards mm -hmm. version, mm -hmm. was uh, impressive as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ping Mage is a very good deck as well, uh, which is probably the only other good deck in the metro at the moment, which is missing from this lineup. Mm. Um, but yeah, Boom Priest, um, there's a bit of a toss up between Boom Priest and, and Naga Priest in, in terms of which one you, you take to a tournament at the moment. You could also take mm. Boar Priest if you're one of the 10 people in the, in the world who can play it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I prefer Boom Priest personally. I think uh, the deck is very consistent. It makes big idiots. And um, the other decks in, me in the meta right now are not super good at dealing with big idiots. Um, and we've got this uh, this Alignment Druid yeah. with uh, some interesting tech choices. So the Jailer is a contentious card. A lot of people cutting it from mm -hmm. their list. Um, it's good against other Druids, and that's pretty much it. Um, also one copy of Spammy Arcanist, uh, which has some counter synergy with Spreading Plague, but it's, uh, still a good card regardless. Yeah, I like the card, and, uh, it chose to play, uh, the two, two copies of Spreading Plague. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, well, uh, the, 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 good yeah card, this it? card is very good, and, uh, I you like the, against... this kind of card because, um, a, it feels like uh, be back in my time <laughs> playing this. <laughs> <laughs> that was your, you and your prime, Max, when <laughs> Spreading Plague was uh, released. Oh, I I, am, I play uh, Earthstone for the first time at 2K13 in the beta 2. Oof. Oof. So almost 10 years now. Almost. That is very impressive, dude. <laughs> when uh I, I i mean i was playing uh i started in 2015 so you you were probably okay. already a season season pro when i started <laughs> yeah. and then we got rogue the last deck in sickos's lineup is the uh mm -hmm. the burgle rogue which is probably the best deck in the game at the moment he's chosen to rock a sunwell only one mm -hmm. copy of Private Eye, which is one of the best cards in the deck, I feel. And only one copy of Double Cross. Very interesting. <laughs> um, and uh, what's he running instead of those cards? He is running... Um, Vanessa Van Cleef? That's interesting. No. Yeah. And the Sunwell. Yeah. Okay. Cool list. Cool yeah, list. We'll, we'll see. If the, this take um, is good, and then as I said, the the, um, the warlock 
will be played. So we can jump now to mm -hmm. the next lineup. She brings a uh, paladin, a demon hunter, a mage, and a warlock. And we won't see the mage. The mage is too heavy, too strong for a Tico. So the paladin, the, what do you think about the, the, the class uh, nowadays? It's fun. It does. Um, it does the thing. It does very well. So mm -hmm. clears boards, and if you hit order in the court, has a good win condition. You play the jailer. Uh, mm -hmm. You play Daddy D. You play Rag Light Lord. You play your hero card. You don't die. You win the game unless your opponent <laughs> has Twisting Never or something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's. I think it's. Uh. It's. A, it's a good deck. The only problem it has is sometimes uh, it can be a little bit slow to actually get onto the board in the first place. Um, mm. Hence why it struggles against, uh, you know, if, you, if your deck can kind of, uh, uh, if, if the opponent's deck can get some stuff on the board before turn eight and you don't draw your equalities, you can sometimes struggle. But, you know, if you uh, if, uh, if that doesn't happen, then you're pretty happy. I mean, I can see bringing... Uh, Paladin, I can see why Jack Attack would ban the Warlock from Seacoast mm. because I think Warlock is, is a pretty good deck against this Paladin because it typically OTKs before it can get um, cooking yeah. with the Jailer. And then we'll have this uh, Demon Hunter. Uh, um, the previous week we'll, uh, we add a True Bench from Estonia and they brought a Demon Hunter uh, with tech cards, very good uh, deck and uh he, he put a 3 0 to his opponent very impressive uh, use of the the tech card uh, you may find the the previous list on the um, the replay on the, our youtube channel so what about this one what do you think about uh, demon hunter right now um i think demon hunter is probably one of the weaker classes in the game at the moment it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun to play uh, the Relic Package has been buffed a few times and it's now been buffed to the state where it's definitely strong and you put it in pretty much every version of Demon Hunter. But um, the problem that Demon Hunter has is it's incredibly fragile. Um, it's one of a few classes that just doesn't really have 40 good cards. Mm -hmm. So um, you end up having to run a 30-card deck so that you, uh, you, you're kind of concentrated your um you're drawing your relics and your jace and your zymox um you know more often mm -hmm. uh, and that means that means that you do just uh fall over and die against a lot of stuff now if you get a good draw and you hit your relics uh the deck is insane but mm. um yeah it, it does fall over and die a lot faster than other decks okay i understand what you say then the mage won't be played, but we have the Implock, Abyssal Implock. I like this, uh, this deck, this version of two, uh, two sort of um, families of deck uh, with uh, different synergies. I like it. We have the zoo, we have the, the uh, Abyssal uh, things. Okay, uh, the, the list is quite... Uh, to everything we know yeah okay it's i guess we... isn't it oh. because both players have taken four completely different classes mm. so as a there's two completely different strategies here be interesting to see uh, which one comes out on top yeah and we are about to do because i'm giving the players the go they're already yeah. preparing to battle a friend so nice. it's okay you can start good luck We'll have uh, Sickles at the top of your screen without camera because, uh, because. And we have a Jack Attack at the bottom of the screen with camera. And uh, we are very um, uh, happy to have uh, a girl on the, on the Max TV and a very mm -hmm, powerful mm -hmm. one. She was uh, the first top eight in the the first girl in the top eight of a, a max land. Big and achievement. She, yes, when I get so preparing to battle a friend. 
Okay, the goal has been given. Very focused. And I cannot tell about sequels because I don't have the, the camera. And we have Tic Tac at Total Orange on the chat. Hi, guys. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Okay. Oh, Joey Battle with a friend is starting. We're here. We're here already. So, this matchup. Um, I've played a lot of Burgle Rogue Max. And mm -hmm. this is one of the few matchups I don't really feel that happy in as Burgle Rogue. We'll see that. Of course, it depends on uh, whether you can hit your null and whether it gets super cheap. But the uh, the imps are difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see how this one luck. Uh, the deck out. I wanted to see. Okay. Oh, I uh, didn't expect it. Uh, because from Italia. Do you know that uh, Italia is not uh, playing the FIFA World Cup? Really? Do they not qualify? No. Not but qualified. They not to go? But uh, <laughs> no, no, they didn't choose. Uh, some uh, other other teams chose for them. <laughs> huh. Did uh, who are you but, supporting at the FIFA World Cup, Max? Well, um, are you supporting I think England? I'm. I think I'm supporting France. But oh, you Matt. have to you have to know something is that I'm from Marseille and in Marseille we had once upon a time a very good player named Chris Waddle from Tottenham. And this oh. guy was in the English team. So from then, I guess it was in uh, 1989 or 1990. Um, I yeah, uh, I am a supporter of the the when English team when French is eliminated. So I support well, French I and England. Be praying for France's swift elimination so that you can <laughs> come on Team England. Max. I understand. But what? Oh my goodness! A second trickster for Sikos, uh, but no big spell. So Sikos mm. is going to be looking for it's a now. jackpot. And yep. this is exactly what I was uh, I was saying, Max. Do you remember I was saying yes. uh, Burgle Rogue struggles against all of these uh, imps, and uh, Jack Attack has just plopped four imps on the board, and there is no null in Sikos's hand. So this is going to start to. Uh, um, get out of control very quickly. Even if uh, even if Sikos clears some of these imps, uh, there's going to be three more, and they're going to be three times as big as these small boys. Yeah, no more fun of knives in the decks, rug decks, <laughs> good old times. Hey, remember that? And you really you really did play this game in 2013 <laughs> with a uh, preparation for uh, for three mana. A zero and you you get three mana for the the next spell. Okay, perjury. And the catalas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You did only in with one. So the sicko mm -hmm. spends all his mana. And we know that you have to use all your mana. All your turns. Oh, yes. A wise man said that to me. To spend your mana and go face. <laughs> Can I tell you about the um, my time coming first place in the Death Knight Invitational? Mm -hmm. With tell me. Frost. Well, it was uh, it was Meat Man, Bunny Hopper, Regis Chilbin, and Ali Straza. And when we were preparing uh, yeah. and practicing together, Regis was very um, he was anxious. Um, oh. He didn't feel like he was as good as the other players, but I said, no, Regis, you are. You wouldn't have been invited if you weren't an excellent no. player. And um, I told him, I told him, you just need to spend your mana and go face. And he did it. <laughs> he did it. Um, he did it so well that he went 15 wins and one loss against <laughs> Team Blood. 15 and one against Team Blood. Can you believe good. it? Good. That's uh, what occurs when you listen to the Beatman. 
Yep, yep. You spend your mana, you go face, and you listen to the meat man, and you go 15 <laughs> 1 against No Hands Gamer and Tice and Avalini and Cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've uh, been a very good event. Okay, we have the first curse here in Seagull's end. And there is no. Okay. Uh, no jackpot, no nothing. No jackpot. The spike in the head. Gotta be a counter spell, and, right? Because uh, if you get counter spell well. down, mm -hmm. you're um. Oh, I get, oh, you're going dagger, okay. okay. Yeah, so going for some tempo here. I, I do like this line. The thing is, though, if you're not playing counter spell this turn, um, it, it's difficult to play it on another turn, and it's going into mm -hmm. the stash. So I'm. Not a hundred percent sure I prefer the spider tank over the counter spell, but yeah, maybe he doesn't want to get the, the card back on this contraband stash. The thing uh, might not want to use the coin as well. I mean, the other, the other thing that could have been considered is do you ever hold on to the one mana spike so that you can coin out the scabs on turn six? Mm -hmm. You could just go. Uh, you could just go for a counter spell. You could just go for a dagger, but you're falling pretty far behind on board at that mm. point. So it's 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 just difficult. I think Sickos is in a in a difficult spot, and and Jack Attack really has uh, really has all of the good early game tempo cards. Okay, catastrophe has been conquered. Jack Attack is very, very uh, focused for a game. Very focused on my face. <laughs> As well. Oh. Could okay. actually use the curse and the coin to activate the Queen Ashara. Hmm. If uh, Stickos chooses, it's got to be either that or you save your coin for the scabs on the following turn. Uh, I like to uh, to scab as soon as possible here with this uh, very impressive, aggressive. Yeah, but you're giving your opponent board. curse cards back. I mean, like. Hmm. I think I prefer going for the Queen, and Sickos is going for that as well. I feel like we're in a really bad spot here, and the Queen has the potential of high rolling, right? You have a potential to hit like a Jigafin, something like that. But it's not looking good, is it? No. Okay. On the upside, Jack Attack uh, does not really have a great play to make this turn. I mean, you can always just tap whenever you're playing Warlock and then mm -hmm. find a great turn. Like, that is an amazing top <laughs> deck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I, I was thinking about Bran into Flame Imp, but not that uh, impressive, I guess. <laughs> wow, I mean, that's it's quite a synergy. Quite a synergy, Max, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, with uh, the previous uh, Warlock quest. Do you remember it? You, you yes. have to uh, to hurt yourself. <laughs> Dude, I miss. I miss when the Warlock quest was playable. They nerfed that deck so many times. Mm, yeah, you're right. It was Imagine fun. if it was still in the game now. I think uh, I think it would yeah, be with a, uh, with a, a brand... lot more fun. <laughs> mm. With a brand, it could have been impressive. Okay, here we go. Own oh. of Ancients. What is it? Oh, a very good Colossus in uh, in many matchups, but unfortunately, right. in this spot, uh, this Colossus is going to spell instantaneous death for Sikos. Mm. Doesn't feel good. Look at this design. Like it. Okay. Double cross. I mean, technically, if you trade into the six seven and then you dagger down the free free and all, and you could literally choose where the one two stalks go. Um, oh, he's giving up 
So yep. it's one all for Jack attack here, and we won't see the rogue anymore defeated. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have warlock. What do you queue up if you're sickos against uh, against for warlock? Hmm. You have uh, phylactery warlock, which I think should be a pretty oh, it's good a, uh, matchup. It has been warlock. banned. It has been banned. Oh yes, it's you're on. right. It got banned. You have the priest or the or the druid. Oh, it's the priest. The, pr the priest yeah, is very I very favored. Uh, I I think I'm I think I have something like a 13-0 record against. <laughs> Kids warlock with this priest, because uh, you you play your board of imps uh, right into the turn where the priest drops a minion and casts shadow or devour, and you cry. Mm. And then even if the priest gets like a uh, medium sized boon, you just cannot clear it uh, when you're playing warlock. You don't have very good uh, answers for huge min minions. Mm. Okay, I was uh, replying to another player. Flame Imp, but without a uh, brand, it's not the same. Okay, what do we have Mate. here? Yeah. Oh, the Switcheroni! <laughs> That's the best card in the deck, Max. Okay, I get it. Thank you, Candy. He's saying, good luck, players. Thanks for casting. Hmm. And Sikos is going to use a coin to get the handmaiden down. I really like this play because this is a clunky hand. Uh, the coin is a very, very useful tool for um, getting to your uh, combo turn a turn earlier. But Sikos recognizes that... Um, he doesn't really have any spells he can combo with his handmaiden. He mm -hmm. has a, uh, a, a, you know, he's going to be floating two mana this turn anyway. I think it was a very good use of a coin there. Okay. Thinking about using his uh, Regent Elemental right now. I mean, you could, right? You could go Radiant plus Fortitude. Mm -hmm. You could go uh, a Light It Burns on the free two. You could even go double devour light it burns. You could just use all of your stuff on this yeah. radiant. And to be honest, no, I... you'd probably win, right? Because you would make a, a radiant with 12 hit points. Hmm. I guess he wants to and maiden first to activate this uh, support twig. Not no. uh, get rid of it, but uh, I understand yeah. your point. I gotta be and, honest. I think whatever yeah. Sickos chooses to do here, uh, he's gonna win the game. And uh, what I would do here is I would go for the Fortitude and then the Switcheroo personally. Yeah, and Sickos is gonna do that as well because this uh, this is gonna give him enough mana back to just play mm -hmm. the Handmaiden. Balish is there. Yeah, you're never super happy to use um, uh, both Devours in this matchup because. Mm -hmm. uh, they're so good against the imps, but you can use one here. Probably one plus uh, light it burns would be my guess. Thinking. I forgot. To, I forgot to say that. I mean, it Sikos. doesn't. It, um, it really doesn't matter, right? You just. Uh, you. I think you just win from this point. No, I guess. Sikos is from the team Reply Totem. <laughs> But uh, it doesn't run any shaman in this lineup. I guess it's a mistake. Maybe I have to <laughs> put uh, one point of penalty. That's terrible, Max. <laughs> but look at this. This is the uh, this is the exact board state. Um, the warlock just uh, cries about right. They, it, the mm. deck just does not have an answer to. An idiot this large. Yeah. Right. Interesting that the Bless wasn't played. I can't really think of a reason why you wouldn't play the Bless here. Mm. 
But again, it just doesn't matter, does it? I guess so. We have the finish circle here, but and um... okay. Okay, you leave only the regent elemental on the board, but this one I don't want to see him still alive. Altitude. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it should be lethal. The fortitude puts it up to twenty-one. The boom puts it up to twenty-three. The bless. It's actually one off, right? It's one off because. Uh, well, if the Bless was played last turn, I mean, it, it might as well just be lethal, right? You just do this and you never lose. It's the, uh, the thing about Hearthstone. Sometimes, sometimes putting your opponent to uh, one hit point, two hit points, three hit points is just as good as lethal. Mm. And there's a lot of players who don't realize that. They'll, they'll try and find lethal and they'll be like, damn, I'm one off. And then they'll start trading. And that will be the moment where the game starts to mm -hmm. slip away. I understand. But oftentimes, if you just put your opponent to one or two hit points, that's it. I, I've had I've had moments where I've sort of just started directing all of my damage to face. Hasn't been lethal. Opponent just concedes. Yeah. So, check it out. Wondering if uh, she's queuing now with a paladin or a demon hunter to counter mm -hmm. this priest. What do you think? What would you queue, Max? No. Maybe the the paladin has uh, the tools to remove the the big things that the priest can do with his uh, agility mm -hmm. and uh, and things. I guess I take does this. does. This is one of the best matchups for Paladin because um, remember the Warlock had no answers to big idiots, but mm. the Paladin has two Equalities and two Knights of Anointment to draw the Equalities. And Equality mm. is a card that Priest very much does not like. Okay. Waiting room for game number three. Please. The game is telling that Jack Attack is online. Good. Jack Attack is doing battle with a friend. I don't know why I'm not in the in the game. But uh, you I know I can't see it either. <laughs> you know how uh Alston works. Okay, so Okay, so I have to start the thing back, I guess. Um, trying like this. No, I will restart this motherfucking game <laughs> called <Max>. Earthstone. <laughs> I think uh, I think Sika is just disconnected. Uh, maybe, but uh, I I, can I think that's what's going on. Yeah, Sika's uh, Sika's disconnected. He's 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 back in now. Hey. Uh, yeah. You say that I don't have to blame Wi Blizzard, but sickles. Okay, I understand. Okay, Jackanack, preparing to battle a friend. Preparing to battle a friend. So previously, the game said so, that uh, they were they were in game, but it was a lie. It's a trap. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Okay, is everything okay? Getting out those R's, nice and early. Okay, 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 do a battle with a friend, starting. Yeah, there we go, we're in. Good. Are you looking forward to playing Death Knight? Oh, yeah, I guess um, when we have this kind of new content in the game, you want to try it. But uh, previously, when uh, Jim Hunter just uh, popped out in the game, I was not uh, a fan of it because 
I don't like to play the the things that everyone is playing. Mm. I prefer counter the meta than uh, playing the meta. To see what I mean, and of course smart... using my mana and go for it, going for it. A smart boy, Max. A smart boy. I'm really looking forward to Death Knight though. I think mm -hmm. I might just uh, forget the other classes exist. I might go full J Alex and just become a Death Knight player. <laughs> Not a Hearthstone player, a Death Knight player. Okay. I want to see And you... as we can see, Max, in Jack Attack's hand, there is a single copy of EQ Litty. With every step, the light guides you. Oh! <laughs> as you said, oh! or can you go for your equality like that? You take it. You take as many equalities oh, as you can get your hands on. But she goes for a righteous defense. I mean, they're basically yep. the righteous defense is the second best one you can get in this matchup. So um, both are completely fine. I have no objections. American way. Oh, goes for the minion. I mean, you would, uh, you'd never pick spell here anyway, because uh, the coin is in Sikos' hand. Mm. Right. The next minion your opponent plays. Mm. So... And remember, remember, that is uh, ultimately the win condition of uh, this priest deck, is to play minions. So every minion that you can remove, even ones that remove before they're even born, um, is... A step closer to uh, to victory. Oh, the righteous defense. <laughs> Sikos knows it's there now. How tilting is that? <laughs> I see you. I see you. Take that. Okay. Honestly, I think you probably have to take the minion because uh, you, you really can't afford to mm. give up the, uh, the radiant, right? Oh. Unless he's going to go for uh, Righteous Defense plus... I mean, you could have Righteous Defense plus uh, shoot the, uh, the Akani down, I guess. Banana Man seems pretty good as well. No, Banana Man. Oh, is it a 10 cards in the end? Yeah. Yeah, hand is full, so something has to be played. Dumps the uh, Gift of the Naru. Okay. Oh, you said Gift of the Naru. Okay. That's the name of a card. It starts with a, with a G. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. Like Jeff. Uh, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember that in French, uh, in France, the, um, the G is pronounced G, and the the J yeah. is pronounced J. Huh? Your your G letter in French is J, and your J letter in French is J. I think in German the G is pronounced gay. But I'm not entirely sure. As I remember this from my German classes. We we have to uh, to ask to Weicher. We'll ask yeah, him after the late. Yeah, can we get, can we get him on on interview after his game? Then we can ask him. But he yeah. doesn't. Oh, he's not. He's not German though. He's from Luxembourg. <laughs> you knew I would fall for that. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> oh, okay. She prefers to have um, uh, uh, opponent at 27. Not yeah. to, to let, card draw. let him that was yeah, an exciting, draw. Well, we missed the, um, an exciting moment. Uh, Feyatar has mm -hmm. uh, taken... Feyatar has taken a Handmaiden, yeah. which uh, might not seem like a card that Sikos wants right now um, because... The hand is full, but Priest really likes drawing cards because uh, uh, all these cards are going to be gone pretty soon. Okay, this one has been kind of a minion gone as well. Okay. Do, mm. oh, Do, you, so <laughs> Do you really prefer to have this banner man involved instead of your first Regent Elemental? 
Well, the thing is, right, if we play the Banner Man and mm -hmm. then we play the Radiant, what are we really doing on this turn? Um, I think you only need one Radiant, so I, I do like the way that this was done. Okay. However, this is looking, I mean, look, look at Jack Attack's hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's going to have an answer to literally every <laughs> a single board I can possibly think of. There are two spot removals with the Sylvanus and the Righteous Defense. You've got two complete board players with the equality. <laughs> and the board is full okay. anyway. What she attack now? I guess you, you saw already uh, a, a gift of the Naru. Na, Naru? Naru? This gift yeah. is Naru. <laughs> I think you should attack, right? Because yeah. uh, there, are, there are ways that Priest can scam because of identity theft. So you do actually kind of need to kill them. Hmm. All right, here we go. It's time. Yeah, I guess it's now on the It's head. time. Okay. Range. But what are we one? even doing here? Like uh I guess you just uh you get your handmaiden down, so maybe you bless the bless the radiant, play the handmaiden, mm -hmm. cast a few more spells, play the uh, priestess, the leash. But running out of time over here, Seacos. Okay. Thinking about uh, how many cards is uh, the leash is. Uh, Oh, I couldn't quite get both of the uh, boons down and... Oh, now rule number two. Yeah. And Sikos knows, remember Sikos knows about the Righteous Defense. He doesn't know about the two mm -hmm. qualities. But from yes. Sikos' uh, perspective, Ooh. this game <laughs> is never, ever, ever going to be won versus an equality, right? Because mm. uh, he is pretty much all in. So Sikos is saying, okay, you don't have an equality. He really would have liked to have uh to have got both of those boons down but the equality's coming down and i think we're gonna see a concession pretty soon you have there oh, we yeah. go nailed <laughs> it yeah they said it was very soon it's very soon okay so we won't see the priest anymore unfortunately and uh, now seekers has to win everything with his druid Well, Druid is a strong deck. I heard about Oh, and uh, don't forget that uh, he's playing... Um, which version is it? Uh, Celestian Alignment. Yeah. Druid. This is a very interesting matchup, actually, with Druid versus the Paladin. Because um, Alignment Druid has two win conditions. The first one is a Mega Pimped Daddy mm -hmm. D. And the second win condition is basically just making enormous boards with things like devourers and uh you know and and getting them down so fast once uh once alignment's been played now uh both of those win conditions paladin actually does have answers to right because uh they have the qualities to deal with the um the, the massive massive boards and they have the jailer which is a fantastic answer to um uh to daddy d mm. like you you have the jailer on board and you have the uh the daddy d um you know you have the paladin weapon equipped as well and the daddy d does basically nothing all right okay preparing to battle a friend another time and on the chat the uh, is some is, uh, i think some... that um the druid from uh from Seacoast, I believe, is running Jailer. Yeah, it is running Jailer, isn't yep. it? So that All is right. that third win condition, which actually could be pretty good against Paladin. I see. So, I guess we'll see the next game very soon because 
uh, Sikas has no other choice. But to use his druid. Jack attack is hanging out in main menu. Some yep. say in the chat that Jackie's laptop doing his thing. So I guess it's <laughs> a very normal situation for her. <laughs> He's preparing to battle a, I used to be a laptop gamer. Yeah. But, uh, and then I bought the... my, my Alienware. <laughs> okay. So it's um, a laptop, a walking laptop. Not like uh, the one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my, la my laptop did a good job. My laptop carried my stream for most of the year, so... Good. Here we are back. Okay, I guess you don't keep anything here. Do you keep the, the scopid, maybe? Versus of this uh, mm. druid? Nah, I think uh, what Paladin wants to do against druid is it wants to play Jailer as soon as possible. So I think this is going to be a full mulligan for Order of the Court. And what druid wants to do is play Jailer as soon as possible. <laughs> so I mean with this hand you could argue you could argue about keeping Lady Condra alignment and Noash, right? Yeah. I, I think guess. I think Sirkos actually has already completed his mulligan. Or maybe he just did yes. maybe he swept all the cards. Okay. I see you Oh there it is! Dur in the coat. Okay, and the trade. And the carrier. Mm -hmm. With this hand uh, and in this matchup, you could probably just tempo order in the court on two, right? You have enough. Mm -hmm. uh, you have enough cheat minions to uh, to fill out your curve. Just get it. Just get it down. In my opinion. Okay. What will it choose to do? Having the a good thing about this because it's always it's always a bit daunting when you play Order of the Court as Paladin. You're kind of committing to, um, you're saying, okay, these are all the playable minions I'm gonna get until my carry all. But playing it this early, uh, what Jack Attack does is uh, you can probably uh, you can probably get the Colossus in your hand mm -hmm. uh, by turn seven. So she only has to kind of fill out turns three to six. And I think she's got that covered with uh, with these three free drops. It's a, it was a very nice hand. Um, the, hmm. Not to think that um, doing this this early and knowing your opponent is uh, running a Celta could be um, maybe uh, an issue. So your opponent can steal your jailer with it because it's in your end. That is a very good thought, Max. And uh, are you just saying that because you can see Phaetar in Sikos' hand? Are you channeling your cast of vision? I... <laughs> no. <laughs> you are, so aren't you? You it? are. <laughs> I'm stream, uh, stream snipping my own channel. Yeah. <laughs> Seaflor Savior is pretty good here, actually. It fills up the curve nicely with uh, the Scorpid. But yeah, there is. We can see there is a Jailer. Uh, not a... We, no, we can see there is a Phaetar in Sikos' hand. But I don't think you ever play around it, right? As for Paladin um, in this matchup, you really you really just have to get that Jailer down as soon as possible because this is, the, okay. yeah, this is pretty much the only thing that Druid struggles to deal with is the combination of the Carrier with the Jailer. So, mm -hmm. um, I think you, you just play around, uh, you, you just don't play around Theotar, you just kind of pretend it doesn't exist, and if it does exist, you hope it low rolls. Okay. And you have a very consistent, consistent and uh, so maybe Theotar won't eat the, the jailer or the dinner. Mm -hmm. Goes okay. to the conviction. Rage. Uh, yeah, now when you drage, 
It's uh, the uh, the little cards. Drage, Daddy Drage. <laughs> <laughs> now this is probably the best turn you're gonna get for Feyatar, right? Because if you don't, <sighs> okay, Sikos doesn't see it. Doesn't see it like Meat Man, but I do think you know, right? You know that Jack Attack is going to be holding all the key cards by now. Mm -hmm. Leotard yeah. was going to be good that turn, and if you play it on the next turn, or if you play it in the future, you're going to have to give Jack Attack a, a one mana card, right? So mm, uh, I, right, I, right. I do, I do like playing the Leotard there. But maybe, maybe what Sikos is thinking here is that the alignment comes down next turn. He gets such a colossal advantage over Jack Attack, and then, um, and then it doesn't matter that uh, he's giving Jack Attack a uh, mm -hmm. a one cross card, right? Maybe, maybe that's the thought process. Okay, we have a range here. Secret. Okay, and it's now the alignment. Okay, no reaction on Jack Attack's face. Nothing. Revenge! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. Okay. Leviathan comes down. See, this is it's interesting, right? Because this was uh, a an Order of McCaw played on turn two. And uh, I don't think Jack Attack has uh, dropped a point of mana right mm -hmm. maybe like one point of mana but it's uh, been a very very smooth curve but ui okay. in hand is pretty pretty huge as well right and now the honestly but the jerry was a really really good top deck too just get this board under control with the oni and then we are plain sailing yeah get treats of everything Okay. So will it be the carrier first? Oh you also have the opportunity to have uh Sylvanas. So the carrier has to come down at some point. Mm -hmm. Um It's gonna have to be either this turn or next turn. Let me think. I kinda like getting it down this turn. The other play that you could go for is you could wait until turn 10 and you could combo with equality. The problem is once you hit turn 10, um, stuff really has to happen um, in a very specific... Um, like, stuff has to happen very quickly once you hit turn 10, right? You're not going to get uh, very many turns now that the, uh, the Druid has played mm -hmm. alignment. Okay. So I do oh, like the carry out. I you think, th you like think it's now. Okay. I mean, looking at this hand, you're probably going to have... Uh, I don't know what I don't know what Jack's next top deck is. Is it Beatar or Spammy? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if it's Spammy, then you can follow this up with a quality Spammy and then you get your... You get the smallest board possible to um to, to land a jailer on but there is a big big turn coming from seco say a big turn and you gain mana okay uh the ui is being played here it would make sense right well as you don't overdraw it's good. Oh yeah. In this matchup, do you play the the spreading plague just like that? Ah. Uh, well, the spreading plague it it can be good as a kind of blocker mm -hmm. on the jailer board, but the, the problem is like blocking the jailer board doesn't work, right? The way that you got to beat the jailer in this matchup is you got to race it. So I think anything that anything that makes uh, the board as big as possible, spreading plague isn't really doing that. So yeah, look, and this was exactly the situation I was talking about, Max. So because mm. uh, the carrier was played on a previous turn, Jack now gets a nice 
equality spammy clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is going to make the board as straightforward as possible to drop a Jailer onto. And once that Jailer comes down, Seacoast is not going to be happy. Um, this is the turn where he has to be considering playing Phaetar, right? This is the last opportunity you're going to get. You know that that Phaetar, um, you know that Jailer's coming down next turn. And honestly, I think once that Jailer comes down, I don't think, I don't think Sikos has much hope. Because you're not going to be able to grind out, the, uh, you know, all of that damage. And the cycle of life is okay. Drawing more. Uh, uh, you're drawing, is, but uh, you're, you're not playing any Jade minions. Looking here for. Play the Phaetar! <laughs> no! The, he, had, he had a chance! He had a shot with the Phaetar! <laughs> Once this Jailer comes down, the game ends! There's no, there's no chance, right? Yeah, I guess. And you, you play the card in your deck, you have it in your hand, it cuts now one. If you don't play it now at turn nine, or you open it, you yes, don't play I it at all. Weird. Maybe we'll uh, find it out during the interview if it's here with us. Yeah. Well, if I, if I get these, if I get Seacoast in an interview, I'm going to grill him over this play. Um, but this is, I mean, Jack Attack is not starting with Jailer. I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So this is like, uh, so this is like the tortoise and the hare, right? Because this was, we, we were just talking about this. This was a Jailer race and, uh, Seacoast had a chance to win the Jailer race, but he just, Got to the finish line and then stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Double I guess he's guts. looking for his own jailer, right? His own jailer could uh, could give him a shot here, but still, having to race the uh, like with uh, with a paladin weapon equipped is just difficult. Hmm. Oh, there's a brand Denafrius as well. That's a lot of damage. But it's gonna it's it's probably gonna do like what five damage to. Uh, to Jack on both occasions. Yeah, only six, right? It's uh, pathetic. Oh, was that a Jailer off the top? Yeah, I guess. It was. It was a Jailer. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now it's uh, another... Oh, yeah, you played. Okay. Another yeah, game yeah. starts. Forget everything I just said. Everything I just said, Max, because I think this game is now over for... Uh... Oh, but is it going to get roped out? Oh, my daddy D! <laughs> oh, no, it, it something else? What did it? Oh! What did it choose? Oh, Reno Jackson. It doesn't matter, Max. Yeah, was so this was, this was what I was forgetting, Max. This was what I was forgetting. It's that Sikos has a trailer of his own. Mm. <laughs> oh, gosh. And uh, look at how look at how much faster the board came down. Behind the, uh, behind Sikos' Jailer, right? There is Jack Attack has to play her minions one at a time. Oh. And we're going to game five. Yeah. And we will see this uh, Demon Hunter. We were talking about. It's 2-2. Two, two. My dad got a 2 2 at university. Uh. Okay, so I have to inform. Oh. Uh, I didn't inform the, the right player. <laughs> I informed <laughs> Sikos that uh, previously that it was a 2 1. <laughs> uh, no, it's for Bruto. Bruto. Yeah. Good. He must protect the wild. Jack attack has the door. Yeah. Relic vault. That's the, that's the best card. 
Was this card originally free mana? I think it was, wasn't it? Don't remember. Got buffed. Ah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yes. And it has been buffed because uh, no one played the rolling thing. Ah, yeah. Goes to show you how uh, how difficult it is to balance Hearthstone cards, right? Mm. Yeah. You to buff know. one card by by one mana, and the uh, whole archetype just becomes playable. Oh, you have a a message for you from the chat. A certain oh, do I? Stone I am Legend is saying, "Popper." Hurt, meaty love. I don't know what it means. Meaty lol. That's that's a very rude message, to be honest. <laughs> people always uh, people always think I'm a joke, Max. Meat man is not, meat man is not, not a joke. I'm a I'm a serious half step player. Not low love. Oh love! Oh, that's a nice message. <laughs> oh, we love it. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lady Steno is here. Lady Spino hits for board. And Predation with a small squid. Was that really the correct play though? You don't want to bump up your, your relics? I don't know. Mm. I guess... She, she's uh... waiting for more. Maybe the logic is that Druid doesn't really have any good answers to Ladies Fina, so it's a bit more likely to stick around. I mean, it's it's worked yeah, out guess. pretty pretty well. Okay. Oh, do you play it on curve? Hmm. Mm. I would still prefer to see the double relic because we need this door to be unlocked as soon as possible uh it's got to be tempting right it's got to be tempting to play it uh, uh we, we can see as the casters the uh the, the maltranics would get turbo punished because uh Seacoast's hand is stacked to play the alignment whether this maltranic comes mm. down or not and i would expect both of these aquatic forms to get um played as well Okay. Oh, why? Oh. Uh, why no innovate first? <laughs> yeah. Spreading plague there as well is got to be tempting. You have the. Yeah, it does the, go for spreading plague. The dragon vomiting oh, uh, meatballs. Oh no! You're gonna you're gonna play it here, really? Oh come on! Why? Play the alignment and then play the nourish and the plague. Absolutely no balls. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Although this is a pretty nasty play. Uh, okay. Kurt is pretty small. I'll strike. Maybe. Yeah, I could play uh, uh, the fantastic draw. relic as well, maybe. maybe. Get some Thank attacks in from the uh, ladies Fino, doesn't it? Thank you, Sixer, for the um, for the sub. Oh, Thanks. Nice. A subscription. Yeah. Exactly. Me, fana, me, fana, 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 me. <laughs> yeah. So we, have, we have to do a sub sound. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. I like it. Sixo was uh, in the uh, in the Maxland as well, with uh, I guess uh, four or five friends of his from Switzerland. Very nice to see them. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, very good uh, players. Very. Uh... Oh, the spreading plague was so toxic. <laughs> How did they print this as a card? It's amazing to think of the cards that got power crept and the cards that didn't. Or oh, playing the top deck alignment as well. Oh, that's a stinker. That's a real stinker. Okay. Trade. And trade. Jacketag is still quite calm. The cam? 
Okay, is the way that you play your Cutress here? Mm, give him as a Lady's Fino on the board. I'm kind of wanting to go Relic Door, Relic and Fel Barrage here. And then we can do the mm -hmm. Kurt next turn. Okay. So you probably go... Yeah, I guess you go Extinction first and then you double up the Phantasm, right? Twice. Okay. Landed pretty so... well. Okay. Okay, she yeah. uses the location. Yeah. It's a good play. It's, it's uh... You know, you're getting the tempo down. Get yeah, mm -hmm. the tempo down first. Maybe... Maybe Sikos just doesn't have anything to fight onto board this turn and you can you can just get there with this board. But we can see. We can see. Um There's gonna be some stuff uh flying out of Sikos' hand here. Oh okay. The scale and uh, if Sikos wants the uh, the red man. Oh, the red man comes down. Oh <laughs> no! Powerful turn here. Yeah, that that looks like it's GG, Max. <laughs> I guess. Oh, you cannot do anything even with your culture can maybe attack first and then cut first. You have two 5-5s, five five, so you can rid of the 5-5. 5-4, uh, five five sorry. What do you think about that? Yeah, okay. Oh, I was wondering if she... I mean, I guess, I guess it's here. not quite GG yet, is it? You're right, because uh, the Zymox next turn is maybe threatening to clear the 17-17, but... The problem is that next turn there's going to be a giant board. It's not just going to be the 17 17, mm. right? Yeah. Alex. Oh. I mean, it's probably still Juff, right? Juff is. Do we, do we have more card draw in this hand? Oh, we do. We have a no Noish, I guess. Yeah. And the dragon vomiting meatballs is here. <laughs> Copio the Vomitor, number one, number two. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon hey. Bronze Beard. Oh, the Alex Straza, but the brand and the Alex can't be played. Mm. Not that it really matters. And finally, this uh, Paladin has not been that good. Oh, Jack attack only gives through one, um, one win. And maybe the legends are true. <laughs> okay, drawing, drawing. Minus five. Oh, that's not gonna Minus do five. it. Minus five. not gonna do it. It's GG. Seekers <laughs> takes it home. Jack attack yeah. concedes. That's it, it's 3-2 for Sikos here. The Druid reigns supreme. You said that uh, his lineup was very powerful and he won with it. Um, I did. Thank you. It's the lineup I would have bought, so it's no surprise really that he won. <laughs> Thank you for the games. Um, are you okay for a little interview on Discord? Okay, and Sikos as well. GG. Are you okay for a little interview on this one? Waiting for them? I have to check. Okay, we'll have at least Sikos. Nice, nice. And uh, maybe Jack Attack if her laptop is still awake. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's good for the both of them. So, I'm adding them to the conversation. Just a second. Okay, Jack attack. And Seekers is there. Okay. Yo, yo. Here they are. Here they are. I guess we have Seekers here. Do you hear us? 
I yes yes. Okay, and uh, so guys, you've just won the grand final of the Max of the Max Open. How do you feel, man? Uh, really? <laughs> I didn't know Wait. that. Do you hear us, Jack Jack? Yes, oh. I can hear you. You okay? Oh, yeah, uh, we can hear you very far from your microphone. How about now? Oh, it's better. Yes. It's better. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the tech issues. <laughs> okay, so GG for the, the win, Sikus. Uh, and uh, at the start of the stream, we were, uh, we were um, taking a look to the lineups and uh, Mitty said that uh, you had a very good uh, lineup uh, and it would bring the same one. What do you think about uh, your lineup in the LHS format? Yes, I think uh, it's decent. I played it also last week and uh, I think mm -hmm. there are four good decks uh, with uh, that stay well together. But uh, yes, I also seen that uh, other good players played that lineup, so I was even more convinced about it. Four hey. good decks, I like it. I did have a question for Seekers. Can I ask one question, Max? Oh. So, so go. cast your mind back, Seacoast. You were the Druid, and you were playing against the Paladin, and you had an opportunity to play Feyotar, um when you knew um, that your opponent's only win condition, when Jack Attack's only win condition, the Jailer, in that matchup, was in the hand. Um, I'm just wondering why, um, uh, what, what your thought process was behind not playing Feyotar, um, on both turn seven, uh, before the alignment on the seven man. Uh, Did I lose? Uh, I guess we lost, um, Mitty. Mitty, are you here? Can you hear oh. us? I'm here. Okay. I'm uh, here. We, can, we can not see you anymore. And, uh, we just... Yeah, we just lost uh, your your voice, uh, your voice as well. So uh, we didn't. No, um... you can hear me. You uh, you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. Now it's good, but uh, we didn't uh, listen to the 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 end of the your oh, question. You I was basically asking why the um why yeah, Sikos didn't play the Feyotar before uh the the jailer came down. I thought on turn seven, so uh it. He, uh, she couldn't play it, so I just waited, and uh, the turn after, uh, I could have uh, played Theotar, but I just thought that uh, I just had to draw card and ramp, and then I could play Theotar and Bran and uh, the Natrus in the same turn, so even if uh, she played the Jailer, I could just win, uh, stealing other win condition and playing my other big minions and Jailer. I was just faster if uh, I had a lot of mana and cards. Makes okay. sense. I mean, it, it worked out for you. Uh, I think uh, the, uh, when when I was casting, I forgot that you ran the jailer yourself, and that made a huge difference. Yes, uh, because it could have uh, been a mistake yeah. if uh, so I could have lost that game if uh, jailer was uh, one of the last card or. And, That's uh, true. I couldn't That's play true. Too faster, but uh, yes, I but it that. wasn't one of the last cards, so you won. Yes, <laughs> I I could uh, anyway see most of the deck, so would have just uh, been not even plus three cards because uh, there is dredge, but uh, the fourth, fifth, sixth, maybe. Mm. Okay. Very well played. And uh, on the side, the jack attack. Uh, do you think that um, this uh, paladin is may maybe were too weak uh, in your lineup? Uh, or do you think that... Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you, do, maybe do you regret it? Or do you think that uh, the ban of your mage was the key of the of your opponent's win? Do you think? Yeah, I think the mage was the right ban. Right? And it's, it's also probably my most comfortable deck, so it made a lot of sense. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of expected, to be honest. Okay. And uh, you were in Paladin the... was a good choice, actually, because, uh, like, if you're expecting a uh, priest, Paladin has mm -hmm. a great matchup into pretty much every type of priest, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems like a, 
a decent deck choice for, for LHS. And uh, we'll have very difficult time with this uh, huge weapon. A very difficult time? But Max, um, what just happened, or what happened when you disconnected, was Bruto turn his 10 card hand mm -hmm. into a 9-9 uh, nine -nine with stealth and a 9-power mm -hmm. weapon, right? So the whole hand is now gone. Um, okay. But Wire then proceeded to play a Shirella, and now the board is gone, and now there's only one charge left on the weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not, it's not looking great for our young German superstar. Yeah. Not looking, sorry, it's looking great. It's looking great for the German. It's not looking mm -hmm. so great for, uh, Bruto. And I'm very disappointed because I, I was making a joke what? just as, uh, internet, uh, died. Oh. You, you, you asked me something. You asked me, if you were her, what would you do now? And I was telling you that if I was him, I would have painted my green wall into a white one. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, the, don't you see his wall, the wall behind him? It's a, is this a joke? Because, uh, wait, 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 is yeah. this because uh, World of Warcraft is bringing out a new expansion next week and you've made a joke that's a terrible pun, Max. It's <laughs> it's not World of Warcraft. It's World of Warcraft. Oh, oh, it's not that it's not that bad for you. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. You could have been better, but it's not that bad. <laughs> well, so, what is it now? Bruto, uh... What is it? Bruto is very brutal. I guess. I'm actually very impressed that Bruto managed to. Uh, um, get Wire down below 10 health. Like, normally uh, the matchup is not this close. Normally the Priest absolutely creams the Rogue. Mm. But um, as we can see, I, I, I think this matchup is something like 10% on, on, on the Rogue side. Like, mm -hmm. the, the Priest just uh, wins so often. Are still here? I'm here, yeah, yeah. Okay. It does mean, unfortunately, after Wire wins, we're going to have to see this Priest player again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you you know the green wall behind Wire. Always uh, sit in front of it. You can't always Is it like his green screen? Yeah, it's a green screen. Just take a look to the to the, the Twitch. You will see it. Let's have a look. I will have a look on the stream. Yeah, you have to. Or something like that. You know, I've uh, never loaded a, a Twitch stream on my computer before. <laughs> do, do you want the uh, the URL? No, 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 no. I uh, I watch I watch on my mobile device Ooh. oh look at this and now we've got this chunky boy coming down so bruto is gonna um uh, is gonna have one last attempt he's gonna try and mm -hmm. find something from two from nefarium that can save him what do you go for are you gonna go for a uh, can you discover a sun well or oh that... that's not gonna win the game lightning bolt <laughs> drage uh, okay. <laughs> and what is that? Drage. It's not Drage. It's Dredge. 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 Yeah, that's okay. the one. The graveyard. Ah, uh, he's going in. He's all in. Oh, uh, yeah. But difficult now, as I said. And more priests will be seen, I guess. And another one. And another one. I mean, you probably just play it here, right? You could even go... Um, 
I mean, how many is this amulet resurrecting? Because you can go Never Drake, mm. you can go Silence, you can go Amulet, and uh, Light It Burns, right? You can even go Condemn. Just go Condemn plus Amulet, right? Yeah, mm. that's, that's all right, uh, what all right. I was going to go for. He doesn't even go for the Amulet. He just, uh, he's just weaving, he's weaving it in. Yeah, he's preparing the, ne ever, the next game here. Yeah. Have you ever heard the story of uh, Orlando Weave? No, what is oh, that? You probably don't know this, Max. Okay, okay. I'll save it for another time. I think, uh, I think the story of Orlando Weave is probably, uh, <laughs> it's probably okay. not a story for, uh, for, for a Max <laughs> for kids. stream. Okay, okay, okay. I want to hear that. I'll tell you when you're older. I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm older in uh, December 22nd. Oh, how old are you going to be though, Max? I won't be 50 because I will be 99, uh, not 99, 49. <laughs> 49, very nice. Yeah, 14, I'm a 49er. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in 20 years time, I'll be, uh, I'll be 49 and you'll, yeah, be, as uh, well. you'll be 69. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And uh, we will play the Max Open Cup 99. You said yep, before. Yep. And, and you will win this one. The said. Okay, we have the trilogy here, which is Bran, Delta, Dinathrius, and Brutus and. Mm. Now, this is an interesting matchup. I actually played this matchup on the Druid side versus mm -hmm. uh, Zetalot on the ladder this week. And. I thought that this matchup would be pretty much unlosable for the Druid, but um, Zetalot actually did manage to, to beat me. Are, are you doing um, something with your microphone? I cannot hear you as much as before. Yeah, that's because I, I kind of dangled down underneath the microphone. <laughs> Don't do uh, that. <laughs> Don't do that. You, uh, we know that you want to get in the fridge to get the, the pizza. The pizza cold pizza from a fridge but don't do that we want to i actually you. would quite like uh, i quite like some ice cream but i don't have any ice cream <laughs> <laughs> do we have ice cream where oh mrs meat's getting some ice cream <laughs> <laughs> i didn't actually know we had ice cream oh it actually is an ice oh, cream oh what is it oh it's a fab do you know what a fab is no it's a very British, uh, very British item. Okay, we can focus on the Hearthstone now. Um, ice cream. <laughs> Pudding ice cream. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, don't do that. Okay, Moonlight Guidance. Mm -hmm. Wild Gross, maybe? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you only have a Wild Growth and a Nourish. Um, yeah. All right, but uh, the other choice are uh, not that. Uh, Arctic evidence is pretty planted good. Planted evidence, yeah. Because what you you already have one of those as well, I guess. I think it's still planted evidence, though. Yeah. For no one. And the chat is wondering uh, which ice cream you're eating now. It's a fab. So we fab. Not, we do not know this word. What is that? Right. Okay. Okay. So. It has three sections. Um, mm -hmm. Top section is chocolate with uh, hundreds and thousands. Mm -hmm. The middle section is some kind of uh, some kind of cholesterol substance. I don't know what it is. Some <laughs> kind of, uh, like, it's it's butter. <laughs> oh, is it milk? It's milk, um, apparently. And then the bottom section is uh, is strawberry uh, strawberry juice frozen. Okay. So the, the second uh, section is uh, pepperoni, milk uh, pepperoni, that's it. <laughs> milk, apparently. Okay. Okay, I have a question. How come with every Ferretary lock runs Queen Gisera, it makes the combo a bit slower and it becomes it's harder to steal Ferretary when Tota baby? I don't know. <laughs> what is uh, that? Help. <laughs> No, you you can uh, have uh, one more one more piece to help you to do the combo. Doesn't make it slower. 
helps you to uh, do it without um, uh, what is it, a time sim, that's it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Wyra has ramped. Wyra has the same amount of mana as uh, Bruto. Yeah. And we still have this Thota in uh, Wyra's end. And a golden one. Bruto is running um, giants in his deck. Hmm. Do you know that uh, when you have um, a golden Thota, you can choose and not discover the, the card in your um, opponent's hand? The two ones. Um, I did, Max, but you can do that with the normal version as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're a funny sausage. Yeah. More do you ever just play the scale funny. here? Um, um, depends on uh, your opponent. Oh, you can then you can then. I'm not sure about uh, this, uh, this no, scale of Onyxia. Oh, yeah. the Jeff can't be played. Uh. Man, what a slow game. Yeah, well, it's a priest, you know. Priest mm. is slow, but priest is good. But look at all this disruption on Wyra's side, right? So he's got Theotar, Mutinous, mm -hmm. um, and what what Wyra's going to be waiting for is he's going to be waiting for that alignment to come down, and then he's going to slam a Theotar. And he's going to have a huge tempo turn just when Bruto uh, is going to struggle to clear a big tempo ball the most, right? That's what I'm looking forward to here. Hmm. So what will it be for Bruto just now? Either Devourer or Scale, right? I think I kind of like the Scale because yeah. Scale is a yeah, different I like card the... uh, used. Yeah, I like the Scale to infuse your Devourer. Mm -hmm. He's thinking, but we cannot see him think to the camera because it's he plays without the camera because I guess he's playing on the on the, um, tablet. Not sure about that, but uh, I assume oh, wow. that's the point. Yeah, he played on tablet. Mm, I guess. He told me. So Bruto uh, actually went for. Um, he actually went for Jeff there. Interesting. Instead of uh, clearing a board, but I guess you don't need to clear a board in this matchup, right? Like... Okay. And cards in end. So it's got to be okay. either Mutanus or Mida. Yeah, what I would have thought. Do the cards say? Hmm. I like Mutanus. Yeah, I like it. Either one is fine. Okay, what it is? Oh, oh! Is it a, a giant? D &D, dodging no. bullets. Okay, it was uh, the devil. Hey. Okay, okay oh. another one maybe. Jerry's mm. got to be tempting, right? Because uh, that's giving you more card draw mm -hmm. and uh, giving you the second copy of uh, Noah's Ramp. So uh, you're very happy once you draw alignment. Yeah, but um, what about Devourer here uh, with uh, this uh, scale of Onyxia in hand? I think we need it. The thing is, right? The thing is. This is not a matchup where Bruto's got to be scared of a board, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Bruto will uh, will be able to clear any board that he wants. It's not going to threaten him. The way that this matchup's going to end is Bruto is going to play or not play a Daddy D, and mm -hmm. the game is going to either end or not end. And that's, that's all there is to it. 
Okay. Burning. Burn. Miracle growth or not? A miracle no. Just like Theota. Oh, Theota is here. No. Oh. What is that? Oh, it's not the missed. good one. He's missed, Max. Yeah, twice. Not a good one. That mm -hmm. is uh, it's unlucky. Okay, light mode. Can I have a miracle growth. Now things no, are fucking hot. Mm hmm. So the other card, which um, which can do a lot of work, is um, identity theft. Mm -hmm. What you can do is let's say Wire gets identity theft, and let's let's say Bruto plays alignment. Wire plays identity theft, gets the the Denafrius. And then uh, on the following turn, he can play with an Aphrius and Whirlpool it, right? It's a snazzy play. Oh. Okay, you have uh, another zero mana giant. Mm -hmm. You have the Sylvanas. Have everything. Everything. Yeah, but difficult now. Let's see what side. I guess I forgot to mention that Weicher was from the Max Team. Oh yeah. Potent to notice. One would. Alright, here we go. It, it could have been good to play that after Mida. After Mida dies. A big deal. Needs to dump a car, though. Okay. No. Probably a silence, right? Oh, we trade silence away. Oh, wow, he's running eternal servitude. I guess it kind of makes sense. Mm hmm. With all of your big death rattles. Okay. So this daddy's pretty big now, but Daddy D is now sitting on 16. Getting to the stage where. Especially with that scale, Bran is going to be close to threatening a lethal. You are Destroyed. Okay. Really? This is uh... I would have preferred to see scale there, I think, over the Sylvanas, but... Okay. 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, the Toby. It's back. Okay, we have uh, two Amulet of Undying. And they are not recalling boss this time, but huge demons. I mean, the amulets are huge, right? Like, getting two demons down here is mm -hmm. massive. You, you play it, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, he's going in with... Look at this. Look at this, Max. That Oof. is a large number of demons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Am I actually going to win this? Because this is a lot of armor, Max. He's going to go up to 32 armor. Imagine if he top decks the hero card as well after all of this. <laughs> Maybe this matchup is just favored for a priest. <laughs> Do you think just because of the lightning bombs as well? Uh, 
I'm just trying to work out if there's a clear here. There's no clear, I don't think. Well, I mean, you could urban scale the your free free here, trade it into the eight five to make a one, and then you could bait, trade, bait, trade, and then play spammy. But you don't need to do that. Okay. Miracle growth number two, I guess. Yeah, and still no mid iron deck. Why don't you eat with your Zerella in the 1 5? What is that? What Sorry, is I'm that? Oh. Okay, you're back. We had a little, little disconnection. But Mitty is back. So, I was wondering what uh, would uh, Why her not eat? The one five with his own Xyrella. Uh, that's a good question. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Maybe uh, he doesn't really care about actually face damage that much. Maybe Does he doesn't it... want the Xyrella to be a free health minion, so mm -hmm. uh, like it can't be Oh, maybe for the yeah. Well, so I don't know. For the spammy Arcanist, maybe. I guess that's it. Okay, we have the one, the two, but not the three. I guess it will. It's for the spammy arcanist. It didn't do that. And another one spreading play. It's buying time. Could have traded him a one five first, right? Just got an extra token, but yeah, he's uh, he's made some some blunders here. That was a uh, bit of a sloppy turn, and why actually has a very large amount of uh, stuff on the board here. This is mm. 40, 46 power on the board now. <laughs> Does he run no. clean scene in the deck? He hasn't got his silence back as well. Like silence or clean scene, you're just pushing. You're pushing so much here. Oh, he's killing one. Okay. And the servitude is here. Oh, okay. The ten, the ten, ten oh is instead. Dude, this deck is insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the priest. That's what we do. Brutus can't deal with these big idiots. <laughs> Hmm, maybe he's thinking, he's still, yeah, right. Spammy Arcanist is still thinking about that, I guess. Yeah, very uh, nice. trying to stop yeah. him from, trying to stop. Now that makes no sense to me. He tried to, he tried to stop Bruto from getting a 1, but then he healed up the 8-7, which can give Bruto access to a 1. Maybe he's just trying to get as much life as possible to survive a brand Daddy D, but... Oh. Wait, crap, but, but Denathrius is big here. So, oh, it's on four, It's on 42? Oh my goodness, Max. Yes, as you said. G2 is a lot. 43. Still not lethal yet, though, is it? Okay, only two cards left in the in the deck here. Yeah. Wow. And Dinathias already at 46. Take the trades, right? Oh yeah, two. Oh he's, he's missed and... it again. <laughs> he's missed it again. Oh Bruto. Okay. 
Okay, like that. Just slam uh, the morgue down, I, I guess. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna be it, though. I think e as incredible as Fyra's game was, right? As uh, you know, all of those eight eights, all of the armor, it wasn't enough, right? Mm. Yeah, right. Wait, what? Bruto is missing. Oh. He's missed lethal. He's yep. missed lethal. Yes, 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 yes. We have a very good brand into Dinathias. Dealing 104 damage. It's better than uh, 80. And 80, what? Uh, two, four, I guess. Or 88. Oh, it's a miss lethal here. Maybe, maybe what Bruto will do now is he will play the Bran and the Phaetar and give Wyra the Daddy D. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, take the desperate prayer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And give the nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. We're Please. we're huge wire fans here. Oh. oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> How much armor would the hero card give here if the uh the hero card was top deck? Mm. Isn't it five? Uh, oh and oh maybe at least five. I think it's more than five of the, uh, um, the things mm. inside or the identity theft. Is it but uh, you have to uh, Xyrela? Yeah. yeah, it's five. Xyrela, it's five. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. It's five plus uh, everything uh, he, um, he, he has um, said now with death at all. Then it's uh, a very sad game because we both know we both know it's uh, it's over, but um, Wyra doesn't know it's over because from Wyra's perspective, the, the Daddy D could have been one of the cards that was drawn later. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know that this Daddy D is probably the largest Daddy D he's ever going to see. This card was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Uh, you, you like it when you play it, but not very, uh, very funny when you take it and it's you made a, a, everything good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you made everything right in the game, dealing with uh, the threat. Mm. And uh, uh, and everything, and at the end, because you played well, you're dead. Mm. Mm. You now we've got the the druid, the alignment druid against mm -hmm. the non-alignment druid. Yes, the white growth win. nourish druid versus the Denathius druid. Oh, nourish has been found. Okay, Druid versus Druid. Spanish one versus the German one. Wait, is Bruto Spanish? You gotta be scrappy with scrap. Yeah. Didn't know that. Didn't know why I was German either. I thought he was from uh, Luxembourg. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the Scotland? Hey, calm, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like it. I love Scotland. I Have you ever been to Scotland? Twi twice. Twice. I Dude, like I've it. I've only been to Scotland once. It's so... Uh, it's so far away, man. Like... <laughs> but I went... I cycled to Scotland. I cycled to Scotland. And then I cycled all the way up Scotland. And then mm -hmm. when you get to the top of Scotland, it's basically just thousands of miles of desolate wasteland. Yeah. It's just as far That's as the, the eye islands. Can see, desolate wasteland. Islands. Mm. I love that. I went 
uh, three times in um, in uh, England as well. Twice in oh. Bright Brighton and no, four times. Twice in Brighton and twice in London. Next time I I am here to see you. Promise. Brighton's nice. I might have gone to university in Brighton if I didn't get to Cambridge. My wife. But look at this hand from well. Wire. Yeah. Hand from Wire. Uh, you have got the job. a lot to do. Get the nourish online. Mm hmm. Okay. Where is the alignment? Surely you don't trade this. Surely you go face. Come on, Wyra. It's a pyroblast. Look away, Max. Look mm -hmm. away. Yeah, but you cannot stand this vomiting thing. But it's, it's not just that happy on cam for the trade. Okay, so I we won't see here this uh, miracle growth because of the night. Could be. Okay. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Get your spell. Bruto really is, uh, he's gonna fall behind if he doesn't get his jump soon, right? Mm. And I guess he has got the Topior down. Who would win, a Topior or a, or a Juff? <laughs> <laughs> the famous Juff from a Mitty. Mitty Slam. Surprised we didn't see the, uh, the aquatic form played first here, but. Because, you know, maybe uh, maybe Juff could have been at the bottom. Could have fished it up with that aquatic form. Okay. Oh, it took the aquatic form number two. Oh, the Chondra and the alignment at the bottom. I mean, do you even want to play a alignment with... Uh with this hand because you don't have uh you don't actually have a very good hand with alignment mm -hmm. and you have you're so far ahead on crystals anyway i think you probably take the chondra and then like at least you can play it with the oh he's just gonna play it straight wow so okay. and this is why we're basically committing to not playing the alignment this game which i do think is is smart right i think when you're this far ahead on mana it's kind of a mistake to play it right you just play as if you're ramp druid mm. All right. Your ways are. Uh, no, we don't want this alignment. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, go for uh, zero mana. Mm. I mean, looking at the hand, right? You do just you, you kind of just want to dump because you've got like you've got a UI there, right? Hmm. Hmm. Not that good. Didn't eat the Toprio on the wire side. Here is full end. But you cannot play this giant for now. You can, you can with a miracle growth, right? Wait, so you'd have yeah. to go. You have to coin out. Um, I guess. Uh, Okay. Well, let's see what he gets off of this. Yeah, see, so yeah, now you can go Urban Scale, right? Mm -hmm. You stick an Urban Scale on the free free. you cast Miracle Grove, and then you can drop both Giants, which is a huge tempo swing. I don't know if it's going to be enough, um, because, well, he could top deck a Denathrius, right? But we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, it's the correct play. Getting his positioning right as well. Look at this. Mhm. Mm he actually positioned it perfectly. Okay. 
Hmm. Is it turn around? Yeah, spreading plank turn here. I think it's definitely a UI turn. turn. So the question is, do we want to uh, drop a plague or do we want to drop a, a, a UI? Um, is there a punish to the spreading plague? You could get um, devourers, the thing I'm mm -hmm. thinking of, but it's, it's not terrible if you get devoured here, right? Uh, you, you still save quite a bit of damage. So I think it's just, yeah, spreading plague plus uh, UI, right? Hmm. Oof. Mm hmm. Is it Topio into Topio? Okay, he prefers that. Drops the Nyx, yeah. Your card to a copy of. Okay. That drop's burning again. But was this even rid... a more defensive play over the over the plague? Oh, he's gonna go for a Phaetar. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> he's gotta go fast, oh my goodness. He's still gonna attack all those whelps as well. Oh my he goodness. He took the Delta and gave the, the plague number two. Yeah. I'm okay. very impressed he actually got those attacks in match. Uh, match? Max? <laughs> <laughs> um, Max match number two. He's still taking damage, bro. Like, even though Bruto has only 10 crystals. The, the free freeze are really stacking up here. Mm. Okay. The terrifying thing is, from Wira's point of view, um, he knows the red man is there, right? Which is going to come down and clear his entire board and make a big idiot. But he doesn't know whether there's a Daddy D there, right? Mm. Like, there could be a huge Denafrius on, uh, on Bruto's hand. Yeah. Like the previous uh the previous match. Okay. Bruto. What do you take? Oh, it has been taken, maybe? No. No, no, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's gotta be the devourer here, though, right? It's gotta be. Function. So, Ray Boss Anixia plus Scale, I believe, is a full clear. You'd probably want to play Scale first. Or maybe, maybe he wants to go UI. Might mm -hmm. want to go UI. Also clears for two big minions, right? Uh, yeah, and, UI, and your, like. your feed, your Dinathios as well. That Oh, he's gonna have a scale. So there, was, so this was a misplay from yeah. uh, from our boy Wyra. We we missed a uh, a yeah. well. You're right. Edge. We we have to give him a point of uh, penalty. Yeah, for that. It's actually a significant misplay, right? Because uh, the extra well would have made the Anixia immune. Yeah, immune. As well. You're right. I guess he can re realize it now. I don't think it's going to make a, a difference in the end though, is it? Okay, ultimate in the station. In the end, it didn't even matter. Okay. What do we have here? We have uh, 18 in Athios. Not big enough to win the game, but it's gonna be. We're, we're getting there. We're almost there. Fish out a brown with a moonlit guidance. You could draw the brown and play the fair tile. Would have been a nice line. Okay. Take this one. Nine cards left in the deck and seventeen for your opponent. I like just urban scale and uh, Phaetar. Could also draw and just play the Viper if you wanted. Mm -hmm. It's just going to gain all of the armor. Stop, 
makes sense. I mean, I mean pretty much anything Wara does at this point is uh, is going to be GG. There is uh, an Anixia in Bruto time, which is going to do a lot of uh, a lot of work clearing up this board and feeding the Sylvanas. But it's just for it's for fourteen mana versus twenty, right? Like. What are you going to do? Hmm. You think that hmm, it will be a better spot to use your spreading plague than now? You eat uh, with your 3-3 three three and then playing that? Problem is, what are you spending the rest of your mana on, though, if you play spreading plague here? Um, Because... Mm. Uh, there's really nothing, right? Yeah, I think it has more to like be... guidance first. Uh, yeah, you take the oh yeah, you take the devil, you you eat the onyxia with it. Oh? Okay. Okay. I must say I don't I don't think Bruto's plays have been quite so on point today. I think he's getting inside his head a little bit. Okay, Dinathius deals 20. And we have Mutinous now. Licking something. We, we have got weird. a lot of juice. This must be the way. Ah, here it is. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. And Sylvanas. And Onitia. Okay. Probably the two best eats. Okay. I guess there is a red man now. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So you can hmm, you have to eat the 1770 mm. and then what well you, you can you know you can play your urban scale um yeah you're right you probably want to be drawing cards because you're kind of running out of stuff you could consider just playing the spreading plague um I think I'd like to see drawing cards, but I think we really need to pick up the, the Nafrius here with Bruto. Okay, He's second plague. Spreading plague. But this mm -hmm. is actually just, it, it's actually just a mistake to um, trade those in, right? Because all we're doing is taking health off of our Devourer by doing this, right? Mm. He's going to realize this eventually, and then he's going he's, to he's gonna be even more upset. Oh, he's not going to go for the, the scale. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. 33, 33. Oh, but there's another Devourer. There's a, there's a Sylvanus. There's a... I mean, there's just uh, there's just so many ways. Like, look at... Wyra can, Wyra can do the reverse daddy, right? You play Bran. <laughs> you play the Red Devourer. And then you play Urban Scale. And uh, Bruto just never gets there. <laughs> Are we going to see the reverse daddy? Come on, Wyra. Come on. Is thinking quietly the cam okay devil number one labor bra and do it gain gain 80 life for the boys <laughs> oh he wants to keep uh brand in in end make the combo with uh, Dinathias. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one. The daddy. Hmm. Are you give the scale? Give scale now. Yeah. He took everything from his open. Yep. Yota and Dinathias. And he has in his on one. Better Still a red Colin. man though. Mm. Trade the uh, Welper Jazza into the 5 3. 
gobble up the entire board, <laughs> play the urban scale, play another <laughs> urban scale, still lose. Yeah, and he knows that uh, his opponent stole Sylvanas from him. Mm. Yep. So, whatever it is, never will be Weirers soon. I just want to see a larger and larger man. <laughs> there it is, come on. Oh, oh, look at that. It's huge, it's huge. 60, 64. What mode is this? Okay. Oh, 119 okay. armor. <laughs> oh. it's, inter it's interesting because uh, <laughs> there is only three cards left in two cards left in uh, wires deck and uh, i broke the game i guess because uh the scale of onyx doesn't go oh, to the no, okay. it's in my hand it's in my hand okay <laughs> oh, uh God. and it has to find a way to get rid of all this yeah. armor before hitting the fatting a lethal fatting wow. Okay, steal this that, one. Right? Is I mean, you should probably play the spreading plague and and then steal it. But I guess you you actually can't play the spreading plague and then steal it. Okay, he plays oh. this now. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 27, 37, 37, number two. It's actually incredible. We just saw a Bran <laughs> and a double twenty-seven Denafrius, and Bruto is still on more than a hundred life. <laughs> What is it? it's it's such a silly game. Um is there anything that you can fish out of here as as Bruto? The Sunwell? Can we discover the Sunwell? With planted mm. evidence? We could we could discover Sunwell, right? Sunwell into Twisting Nether. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'm thinking. And, uh, you don't have to think. Yeah, no, living no, no, roots. No, 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 no. Living roots is here. I mean, you might as well concede now. Right? I think that was your only out. Yeah, the brand that. Mhm. Mm but you have a uh, sixty, sixty-four. Yeah. It is not coming home. <laughs> Like the World Cup to England. <laughs> Can Hurry. you uh, calm down there? <laughs> One card left. I oh, I hope it's good. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can scale of Onyxia on the 6-6, six, six, then... Never on the uh, one five, and you hit for sixty. Bad. Or like that. Yeah. To have a better devil. And you feed the second Denathrius as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this way? A little bit weird. Oh, he's actually just going for the Denafrius, saving the Devourer. Okay. Good. 60. Surely it's over now. Surely. <laughs> we hit him before the fatigue. Oh, the silence! Uh... Oh, it won't kill him before the fact. This is, this is so weird. How? Bruto still has eight cards left. Is, is there anything Bruto can, can do to... I, I don't still think, don't he, think had, it's, uh... he has any win conditions left. Does he run... doesn't run Jailer, does he? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Picking. But the silence is huge, right? No. Can you even use the innovate to get a spammy clear? No, you can't, right? Ah, that 
I mean, you could go like innovate. Nah, I guess you. He's just got a tempo burst, spammy. Uh, and pull everything, I guess. I'm not hey. sure I like that so much, but like. Okay, so. Like, it's surely 17. you could have. And surely you could have used brand spamming to kind of engineer some kind of a clear later on, but. This is a, such an interesting game. I thought this game was just over, mm -hmm. but now, now I'm having doubts. I like the use of the this nature spell here, of the vomito. Face. Oh. 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 I don't know, dude. Okay. This must be the way. Oh. This must be the way. Double scale. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of clear. That's a lot of clear, Max. Yeah. What is going on here? And another one. He's he's won, right? Like he's so far ahead in fatigue. I think he's actually won. He just needs to stop drawing now, right? Because <laughs> oh, he's playing the devil. Just on that. This is ridiculous, Max. This is ridiculous. Oh, how? Uh... I does no. I'm not sure. It will be six, five, five. <laughs> oh, I guess it's over. He's done it. Yeah. He he got through two two Brandon Apriuses. He got through a 60 64 devourer. <laughs> like, how did he win? <laughs> that's gotta be that's gotta be one of the most ridiculous games I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it went to one hundred and ten armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the silence was painful here. Oh my goodness, why I does not look happy? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. I must protect the wild. <laughs> you must protect the wild. Inferno. We got a comment on chat. It was the whelp. Do you remember, Max? It was the, the one <laughs> whelp. From, yeah, from maybe. Pirate. It yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> it was the whelp. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? When concentrate, put in that two or more minions, they're one dimension. All enemy minions. What is this card? It's hey, a it's flat a four Earth card, Max. Don't worry about for it. For equality, I guess? Okay. Hey, yeah. Don't we like the garden's grace? It's gonna take a long time for that to get mm. cheap, mm. right? I understand. Yeah, I think uh, all the breeze is probably a bit better. I kind of agree to Daimu oh. on the chat. The Sire Dynasties were played very soon. From Whitehead. The, the second one yeah. as well, uh, at least. Mm. Maybe you could have held on to those a bit longer. Mm -hmm. 
It was just I, I that last game. I just it it never even twigged to me that that could actually go to fatigue. But I didn't realize how close Wara was to the end of his deck, and I didn't realize how close, uh, how like far away Bruto was. That was a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a, there's a chasm in here. Kisa. Oh Kisa. my okay. goodness. Okay. okay. After the attack, someone will fight with Taunt. Okay. So, uh, I love this card. Mm hmm. Good one. One of the cards uh, I was sad never really took off was the, you know, the, the horn, the five mm -hmm. uh, five mana paladin weapon that summons uh, yeah. your lowest cost minion from hand. Uh, I I made a version of that deck that ran the like that eight drop for one that attacks and rushes. It was it was pretty good, and you run Brasswing as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just it just wasn't good enough. Yeah. And now Bruto has got a Juff down. That's got a sting for Wyra because he's already gone 0-2 against this druid. Yes, but now we have carry a room. Who is gonna... reducing the cost of all his spells in your end by one. But can it carry Wyra to victory? Of course. Or is it going to carry him to an L? The wah, cheddar wah, wah. is here. And it's not a lot thing at your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no one's laughing at my jokes. You're right. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, this hand is a bit awkward. Like what, are we just uh, spending our crystals? We going like uh, Noble and Old Bridge. Are we going to play a 2-4? A <laughs> Three mana? <laughs> Not bad. Carry on, carry on. Okay. Not bad. No, uh, no pleb. No hero power. For the, the spreading play, I guess. Yeah. This must be the way. It must be the way. Do you know I'm getting a new upgraded internet connection tomorrow? Oh, good. From homage to homage? I'm going from like... advertised... 80 megabytes up to like 500. <laughs> good. But I don't get anywhere near that much on my actual PC. I guess the streams will be uh, smoother. Yeah, I can I can go to 60 FPS. That's what I'm hoping. I wonder. It's good. I like it. Chose <laughs> 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 not to coin out the Leviathan. I guess why wants to go for a coin jailer. Maybe. Mm-hmm. He's got the Kaz as well. Like, how is he even activating this Kaz? What dragons is he running? Oh. What a deck. Yeah, you're right. You have to activate it. I forgot about that. That is mm. not played anymore. So I'm checking. You have Sir Finlay. You have two Amalgam. The Ness at the end. Max, um, Bronze Sir Explorer. Finlay, Sir Finlay is not. Yeah, a it was. A, it, it was. A, it was a joke. The joke. <laughs> you have Bronze a Explorer, and you okay. have uh, Amber Watcher. You've and, heard of uh, and the Viper as well. Amber heard, but have you heard of Amber Watcher? <laughs> oh, and uh, what is it? Onyxia. Oh, okay. Lewis, why was just uh, top deck the uh, the carry over there? Good. Onyxia. And cards. Can okay. even combo wombo the carry out with equality for a clear if we desire. 
Daddy D in the hand as well. Mm-hmm. How juiced is the daddy? It's already up to 20, pretty much. Uh... Okay, it's carry on. Carry over. Yeah. Our only our wow, there's an Enix here in this deck as well. God, this is, this is a crazy deck. This is a wire deck for sure. Yeah. The famous Dragon Paladin. Famous oh, Harry Dragon. Potter. <laughs> Look at this. 18 crystals. Turbo. Hmm. Bunker Sergeant's active as well now. Could go for that <laughs> sweet combo. Okay. Light Are you thinking about uh, finding the jailer or Onyxia? Mm. What will it be? Jailer! Oh, wow. Yes, I like it! I like it! Yes! In the teeth. I guess he has a quality plus bunker sergeant. Like, it it's it is just correct, isn't it? When you think about it, it's the perfect counter to Denafrius. Um, and even though the hand is not super good, it's good enough. It's good enough to get there, right? Okay. Oh, what? Well, uh, Bruto do now with this and be silenced. Can I draw three? Or you have to play the Druid of the Reef first? And Denethrius. Do you think that Denethrius won't do more in the late game than now? Or you play it now? Brandon Athias. Yeah. Um, yeah, you probably do play it now. It's about as good as it's gonna get, right? Mm. Oh, it did nothing. It did nothing. Okay, and now the equality into book and sergeant is relevant. Mm. Okay, thinking about using the one mana one instead. The courage of man shall not exclude. Fail. Restoring eight health with Ember Watcher. And you have to run three dragon three more dragons. You do not have three more. Only Onyxia and Skull Teacher. Which is a Naga, I know. It's a joke. <laughs> Stop it, Mitty. Please. I actually just can't, I can't believe this, Max. I can't believe that Y was actually... That I, I feel like the last two games have just been flipped on their heads. Like, um... First of all, I thought Wyra was, uh... Was gonna win the previous game. And, and now mm -hmm. I thought uh, Bruto was gonna win this one. Just goes to show you, right? Goes to show you sometimes, uh, sometimes Meat Man just doesn't doesn't know anything. And Kleines Bich on the chat is asking, "Oh, did he lose last game?" You would see that know. on the, on the replay. I have no idea, buddy. He lost to fatigue. Okay. And we'll have the second equality Birkin Surgeon, I guess. Um, dirty, right? Because Bruto's hoping that the second equality isn't there, but it's uh, it's there with uh, the Bunker Sergeant as well, mm. the tech. Oh! 
Wait, what? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter whether it has uh, one health or eight health, right? Mm -hmm. So you can just discover first. Yeah. You're right. Is it discover a class, a class card from your deck? Invention. <laughs> a second one. Okay. Okay. Druid actually hates Jailer so much. <laughs> You have all uh, a uh, what is it? Southern scales in hand. Maybe with Sylvanas, but will be only five armor. You cannot so devote anything. The Rakdos mm. is uh, cheering on from the uh, from the stands. This is mm. the Hearthstone equivalent of Cristiano Ronaldo in Old Trafford. It's Kazakistan right here. Cheering on from the bench. Uh, Lulu 33. No, not 33. 13, 13, 13. We had to get rid of the delay because of the, an internet disconnection. I actually think we should just uh, we should just do the stream without the delay. Isn't it much more fun to interact with the chat? Ah uh, yeah, I pr I I, pr I prefer that, but for the the players, better with delay. But I did not inform them that uh, there were no the more way. delay, so they are not mm. tempted. Mm. Okay. With scraps. He's actually managed to put out a, a threatening board state. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And the Nargling is casting Conviction. But any minions that get played now um, are going to be locked in place, right? I think it's just you just play the Enix here. But... Oh. oh, this one? Light oh. guide my patience. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's a death thing. It's playing. I would be incredibly impressed if Bruto can uh, pull this one. Okay. So 19 to do with. Because <coughs> Bruto just doesn't have, a, doesn't have a board space, does he? Like to yeah. do anything yeah. meaningful. Mm. Unless you pull, uh, is there anything that you can pull from planted uh, evidence? Planted evidence. Can you get like Savage Raw? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. You get Sunwell. <laughs> let, let, let's go to Sunwell. Come on. He can uh, kill. Oh no, he cannot uh, attack the minions. Okay, okay. Yeah. Better. No, it's not fair to do it anyway. If you cannot take uh, that. It's gonna be Sunwell. Come on, buddy. Let's let's uh go go Sunwell. <laughs> I guess we'll have another two two. The Kaz is is the Kaz active? No, it's not active. Not for not for Bruto. Druid does play a lot of dragon. All right, okay. And well, oh, five wow. mana shaman spell. <laughs> Almost. It was. It did. It was closer than I thought it was going to be in the end. We have it to two here, and. Uh... Bruto will try to get rid of this paladin with his own priest, which is not the same version. Uh, it's a uh, Naga priest, is it? Mm -hmm. Naga priest versus Wyrer paladin. Well, it's a uh, it's the final showdown. Yeah, you're right. 
So it's but winner to win of this game. Winner of this game is going to be the champion of the entire Max Open. Max open. All right. Don't leave, guys. Yeah, you're right, Clan is big. The, the minions cannot be targeted, so uh, you cannot devour, kill, or steal it with uh, Sylvanas. And you cannot trade your minions in it. I was thinking about trading all his board and play the, the plague, but not relevant. Oh, the wow. first dragon, first dragon has oh, been played. Like... Diamond dragon. Does he? This has got to be favored for Wara, right? Like, uh, if you, any any deck that runs equality, I would have thought would be favored against uh, against Naga Priest. Mm. And he was looking for it. Mm. Okay. Oh, Sir Finley Muggleton! <laughs> you yeah, gotta take it, buddy. You gotta take it. Yeah, I guess. You. Other ones, not that. I mean, uh, did you just, uh, did you just call Tiny Finn not that impressive? Max, Sorry. he's a child. He's yeah. crying. He, he you made him cry. He has two teeth. I like making the, the child cry. Oh! <laughs> I like that. Oh! He took this! And he's smiling. Thank you, Wire. It's for, it's for us, I guess. <laughs> and Nulu. Tiny been for a boy. Just run the exclamation mark bottom command. You can try it bottom or top, and you also can try the um, exclamation mark left or right comments. Mm. Do not eat the right; it's not good. But the left, probably the probably the rudest command on any Twitch channel. Excl exclamation mark bottom. Most channels you won't find any booties. Okay. Hyper. I wonder. Order in the court here. Hand isn't that good, right? That's a problem. Like, can, hey. you, can you uh, can you hope to win if you uh, if you order in the court here? Because you're gonna get clobbered by uh, by stuff, right? Hmm. Yeah. You don't hate your equality. Thank you, uh, Lulu. Oh, right, Maybe it's you just not good. Over Viper. Oh, Maybe you just I, jump over Viper. I forgot, I forgot to update the right command. Sorry. That's right. Like the Viper. Yeah, I like this line. Okay, you cannot try the, the right command. Okay. See, no wigs. No wigs. Or brutal. Could trade uh, yeah. the one two in to try and find a wig, but it's a bit like. He has to play with his on air. We want to get the. Uh, but I mean, the cathedral is a. Uh, is a fine play here, right? It's just it's it's very sad. Everything is uh everything's awkward, right? Mm-hmm. It is always right. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sometimes it's always right. Yeah, you, um, you don't check the the right command. The right command says you are always right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the left command is better. Okay. Already one use of the bless. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just to try and keep this. Uh, we like the carry on alive. Here. Look at that. You gotta be happy as Wyra because. 
Flyra is beating up the blessed priest with spider tanks and core elites. <laughs> this is uh, is a sight to behold, Max. Spider tank. It is. It was a spider tank. Oh. Oh. Equality is here. Yeah. But uh, we have nothing to to combine with. Just tokens. Oh, oh. Okay, and I guess uh, Bannerman. Uh, really, it's not too heavy. Okay, a trade and a face. Hmm. Arena Stone. The wire feels like he's got enough stuff in hand to get him to uh, to get him to his hero card alive. So I think Zip. I would kind of agree with that statement. I think the equality pickup was uh, was enough to get him there. And the second time that Kazakhstan won't be played because they won't have the time to draw all the dragons. Mm. The, the two little ones are at two minus and the second ones are three minus. Oh, okay, it's not deck, it's lineups if you want to see the deck lists. Okay. So he actually doesn't need to have an activator for quality, right? He could mm -hmm. just trade his boys off. Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> Discover a holy spell. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. Flash of light. Yeah, draw the card. Yeah, I like it. It's not great, but it's a little bit better than the other ones, I think. Mm. Do you just not play around equality there as Bruto? Uh, I guess Bruto has to win this match as soon as possible. So he, yeah. if he's waiting too much. There are more yeah, trades. You, you don't take those trades. Not you. You just assume your opponent doesn't have it. I think. But he has finally picked up a wig. And two amalgams in the hand, so uh, we can potentially do some scamming. Oh. Relish. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd not draw for now. No, so we're still lacking value in the extreme. I'm gonna go amalgam here. My blood boils for war. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't really understand why the Amalgam wasn't played first, but unless, unless, um, he wants to go in with Bless here, maybe? Oh, uh, yes. There's some card draw. Uh, no. <coughs> Very aggressive line of play. Mm -hmm. He knows he's got one, one more turn to, to push damage right before the, uh, before the hero comes down. Yes. And Wire, uh, really, his options are not great now. You can heal with Flash of Light, draw a card, and then heal again with Amber Water. You get treed off, maybe. Hmm. You could try yeah, the four as three. well, right? Like, uh, there could be, a, mm -hmm. could be a shard in opponent's hand. Silence of this 8 11. Because the flash of the flash of light is gonna draw Oh I get... what's what's the next top deck? Is it guaranteed to be hero card? Have we drawn all of our tens? We've drawn Kaz, that's our other eight, right? Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's carrier. Hero card. Carrier, yes. 
Yeah, so he's just gonna make the, yeah. the, the tempo line. I guess you have to trade uh, the Slither Spear. Slither Spear is gonna is not gonna be that pimp next turn though, right? But I think the trades here make a little bit more sense. Okay. Kill Thotal. That. Not sure. If he doesn't eat something irrelevant, the mod dead. <clears throat> he knows that one of the card is the wig and the two other ones are cards that uh, his opponent didn't want to play because maybe they're bad in the spot damn it's actually gonna be such a close game oh he picked up a boom that's huge that might just seal the deal So Carol comes down now, effectively Wire going back up to 40 life. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. He's gonna be taking another like another 15 on the on the backswing, right? So he's gonna be going right back down to I mean, he might even end up being dead here. Is it ever is it ever lethal? Who here can spell? Stick a, a wig, another wig, a wig, a bless. Me, I don't think it's quite lethal, but it's super close. In the bless. 10 plus 5 plus, I think it's 2 off, right? It's 2 off. You just take it, you just take the bless there. Put wire on 2 and you're happy about it, right? Okay, do you play it or not, Bruto? Was there a lethal miss? We got some comments in chat saying lethal yeah. was missed. Not sure. Is it missed? Uh... I can't see a missed lethal. It's five. Okay, doesn't set that good. Very trade train. Yeah, it looks like it's over, right? Yeah. Unless you can Feyatar into a yeah. even Feyatar into a silence, I don't think is good enough, right? <laughs> uh, no, because you'll be bad manners. Oh. not good enough right no uh, gg no it was uh, an incredible series it was it was it was an incredible series i okay. i enjoy that one max okay we have to check if we are we can have the uh, the players for a little chat uh mm. thanks for the games are you okay for a little interview Genuinely, that's probably the most interesting series I've seen on this this channel. Like, mm -hmm. there, there were just so many really, really weird games, especially uh, the, the one with uh, the right. Druid Mirror. That Druid Mirror is one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. Okay, we have the both of them. Nice. Okay, I'm adding Wairer and Bruto. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, where are you here? Yep, hello. How are you? Yo, yo, yo. Hi. Hi. Yeah, fun? Wait. Oh, uh, we had uh, a lot of fun. I, I, that was, we were just saying, that was one of the craziest series that we've ever seen because uh, it felt like, I, I, I felt like the at least two of the games in that series were just over. And then the person who I thought it was over for ended up winning. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, quite a bit of back and forth there. I, uh... It was. Yeah. The Druid Mirror. Oh my goodness, the Druid Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping no silence, no silence, but he found it. Yeah. All right. And yeah, okay. Bruto, you're here as well. Yep. 
Okay, GG for the win. Uh, what do you think about uh, the uh, this series? Dude, I, wa I was super tense. Like, I was making so many misplays because the games were pretty difficult difficult to play, I think. Mm. And I had so many decisions. Like, the Drift Mirror was so crazy because I had to, like, find a way to win with half the mana. So I had to go, like, for tempo and hope no devourers or anything. And then, like, I don't know. Yeah. It was pretty cool, I think. I played perfectly, guys. I just got <laughs> lucky. <laughs> You're right. Uh, you have been eye rolled. <laughs> um, okay. So, can I? Can I so, sorry, just. Oh, Max, okay. I brought Priest just for you. Were you happy? Yeah, yeah, I was. I was. And it was a nice one. Uh, so, uh, I like the way that uh, you brought back uh, more and more demons. And more and more armor, but uh, it was not um, strong enough to control the Nathias, and I was yeah, sad about Nathrius that. Yeah, the in the starting hand is a pretty good card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I was the game the... with uh, how big was that Nathrius? It was like it had a fifty-four attack. <laughs> oh gosh, it was actually a miss lethal on that on that um, the Nathrius. Um, uh, I no, mean, Bruto right. missed, missed the lethal there, but um, oh, really? it was it didn't matter. Yeah, so the turn before you had lethal with Brand and Afris, uh Yeah, but, dealing um, yeah, one hundred. It didn't matter. Damage. I don't think. Well, I guess it uh, was there ever a way you could have lost to identity theft because you'd you'd seen Feyatar and Mutinous at that point. But uh, I think it was I think it was guaranteed anyway. I think if I draw the hero, I can now heal him. Oh, the the hero card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had cool. like a million. Marks in there, so <laughs> yeah. like not getting the spammy clear was quite bad. Like it would have been insane if I had time. Mm. I had like I missed like one second to do it. And uh, what was this um, wire paladin dra uh, dragon paladin? Well, I'm getting ready for the next expansion, you know. Yeah, good. <laughs> There's some dragon paladin. <laughs> mm. It's gonna be the next. Uh, Top tier meta deck, so oh, it was interesting. Prepared. But uh, um, we think that uh, Kazakhstan is very difficult to play uh, because uh, of the, um, the the two mana card, two mana spell that uh, reorder your uh, your deck, and then you cannot eat uh, enough dragons to play it. Yeah, but, it's just in there for the for the thief rogue matchup because you can actually mm. outvalue them with the Kazakhstan, but uh, okay. Buto didn't have it in this lineup. So mm. okay, yeah, I was expecting a lot of uh, you know the decks you see on ladder, Boon Priest and um, the Rogue with the coins. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I wanted to have equality in there. Okay, understand. Do you have uh, further questions, uh, Mitty? Maybe. Um, I think I've asked most of the the, the questions I wanted. Oh, uh, the just the Druid Mirror because it was so interesting. I did want to ask why. Uh, um, do you think you could have played that game differently and uh, and won it? Um. Well. I might have been able to maybe play the the Devourer early, earlier, mm -hmm. but I, in hindsight, I don't think it would have changed just the way he drew with the with the double scale of Enixia from the blue spell. Mm. So he would have also been able to punch through the the Devourer if I played that in the turn. I, mm. uh, instead of the the Nafrius. yeah, the, uh, we yeah, thought I think about somebody. Go go. Yeah, I was just someone in the chat did point out uh, you could have like greeted out with the Nafrius is a bit more. I don't know if that would have ended up. I don't know if it would have made a difference, but maybe um... maybe the second one. Well, I had twenty mana and I wanted to spend my twenty mana every turn, so I just oh, yeah. went for the highest tempo lines. Uh... Mm -hmm. yeah. It was just we didn't even we didn't even realize on the casting desk that it was uh, going to be a fatigue game until it was like yeah, in fatigue. So <laughs> me neither, but I also <laughs> didn't have experience in that matchup. So yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Well, I'm, I have never seen that matchup go like that because it's just... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that much armor on a druid, like maybe once or something. I realized when I had like the second devourer. I, I was going to devour the scales mm -hmm. and then I did like devourer hero power. That was... Like I did a misorder because I was going to do scales. But then I thought I could out armor him, maybe. So that's why hero power. I, I mean, I would have gotten there if... Uh, if I dodged the silence, right? Because... That was your last answer for the mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. devourer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I think most most of the time my line works, but this time it didn't, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you for the show, guys. It was very nice to see. Uh, I guess it was uh, very uh, very hard for your nerves, but uh, <laughs> we liked it much. And good luck for the next round, both of you. Thank, mm -hmm. you. thank you. Good luck. And thank you. See you okay. guys. See you. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, two three twos tonight. Uh Sickles won three two over Jack Attack. And Bruto won three two over a uh, Wirer. And as we said, the player without the cam and playing at the top just won. That's the curse <laughs> of the Max TV. So next time if you want to be there, ask for the top foot. And uh, with no cam. And turn your cam off. <laughs> Thank you, Mitty, for the for the cast with me. It was a long time. It was good. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been on, but it was a pleasure as always, Max. I do love casting with you, buddy. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, quite. And uh, I like your new uh, your new microphone. And your hey, things. Thank you. It's good, and, right? It makes uh, makes me yeah. sound like a real a real person. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a real man. And uh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow on the, the, the Mitty TV, we have a very new bandwidth with uh, 1 million uh, bit per second now. That's oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to be 60 FPS be good. Uh, gamers. Will it be very good. Thank you, chat. And uh, see you, everyone, next week on the Thursday for the week. round four on the Max Open Cup 9. See you guys. Peace.